we're a very small artisan producer and my whole ethos really with my bread is my the whole ethos with my bread is to keep it simple so i use flour salt and water i don't mess around with flour treatment agents i don't mess around with yeast it's flour salt and water the reason i use franco is because like he's he's a yes man he's really passionate about sort of his produce he's really passionate passionate about the like the fruits the vegetables and anything else that he sells and i think that as a chef you know you want you want to trust that the person you're buying the products from is as passionate as you are about the products that he's selling i've had time and time again dealing dealing with companies fruit and veg companies specific especially that just don't care about what they're selling to you and they'll try and get cut corners and they'll try and get away with giving you the you know the the ends of uh, of the product lines and things like that and it just doesn't happen with franco franco gives you the best i was up at his unit the other day and like his attention to detail is second to none you know when it comes to you know his, his produce comes in from from the london markets and he scrutinizes every last fig grape apple and whatever else it is that, that you're going to be buying from him and he's not afraid to send it back and he certainly doesn't sort of send that stuff out um, to customers so that's why i use franco as, as a chef in the first place and then you know really with with my bread i use him because of his network franco's already you know he's already got a really good network across the sort of south of england and for me as a small sort of artisan bread producer that really makes a difference for me because it means that my sort of distribution for my small artisan product all of a sudden has a big springboard through franco um and again i couldn't sort of really think of anyone better than franco to be talking about my bread to to customers because he's passionate about i mean one of the things that really really gets to me at the moment is a lot of people don't have access to to sourdough to real to real sourdough bread a lot of people their experience of sourdough is the stuff they get in supermarkets which more often than not is not sourdough um we're we're in a position at the moment where sourdough then the term sourdough is not a protect, protected term so you can make anything with any ingredients and call it sourdough um, so we're going to be working hopefully very closely with the real bread campaign um, and the, the aim of that, those guys is to get some sort of classification for for bread for real bread because the, you know this this stuff is not it's not the stuff you buy in the supermarkets and you you, you can't you know you can't buy this bread in the supermarkets because commercial sourdough makers can't don't have the time all the energy, all the inclination to spend 48 hours to make a loaf of bread, which is essentially what this bread takes to make.